2020 is definitely going to go down in history. There's never been another year like it. We've got so many things that have gone on, and one of the biggest things that we are looking toward is the United States election. There's never been another election like it. It's incredible. But parents are wanting to teach their children about the United States government, and there are many conversations going around about that. What better time to share with your child about the United States government than September 17th, which is Constitution Day. Today, I'm going to share with you some simple ideas that you can use for your young elementary age child all the way up to your middle school age child. So stick around. Hi, I'm Rebecca with the Parent Teacher Bridge, where you can find the ideas and resources you need to empower you to be your child's most influential teacher. Today, I'm sharing with you some free or nearly free resources to teach your children about the United States Constitution. These will work with elementary and middle school age children. But before I get into it, if you like this video, make sure you go ahead and click subscribe and the like button, and you will be notified each time I'm uploading another video for your child's education. If you're interested in purchasing one of my We the Parents, uh, t-shirts. These are for patriotic homeschool parents, and on the back, there's a little play on words um, related to the Constitution's preamble. So you can find a link in the description below if you would like to purchase one of these t-shirts from my website. Okay, let's get started. Number one, the Constitution for younger children. Okay, I'm going to include two links for videos on the YouTube channel called Freedom Factor. There's one about the preamble, which is at the beginning of the Constitution, and there's one about the Constitution in general. Both videos do an excellent job relating the Constitution to a set of rules like your parents may have for you in your own house that you need to follow. Each video is only about three minutes long, so these are very great for being able to keep the attention of younger age children. They enjoy the animation, it had good sound, and it was just really applicable to these younger elementary age children. Now, after you watch these videos, you can choose to do a small, easy craft with your child where you use a printable of the United States Constitution and using tea or coffee, you can rub it with a cotton ball or a paper towel and stain the sheet of paper to make it look like an old document. It takes a little while to dry. You can set it out in the sun. You can use a hair dryer. But after that, your child actually has something physical that they can carry around and pretend like it's the Constitution. I'm going to leave a link in the description below of a printable that you can use, but feel free to do your own thing if your child is capable of doing some sort of copy work, um, perhaps with a preamble, or if they're younger and they just want to do some scribbling where it looks like cursive and they can pretend, that would be great as well. That craft is going to be able to be used for any age of child because you can make it easier or you can make it a little bit more challenging. Number three, the Constitution as a unit study. Now, I've already done a lot of searching and I really like to save money. So I have found a two-week unit study on the Constitution by Bookshark. The link will be in the description below. But they have a two-week study that you can print out for your child that is based upon this book. It's from the Who Was series, and it is called, What is the Constitution? So how many of you have children that like that series of books? Leave a comment below. I found myself just reading almost about halfway through just as I was preparing for this video. It was a very interesting read, and it's very easy to read for any child, you know, grade three and up, it includes photographs and pictures to help keep their attention. The unit study actually gives vocabulary words, comprehension questions. There's even art appreciation included. They will have the name of the painting or the photograph that they use 
All you would have to do is look it up online and then do the activity with that as well. So I plan to use the two-week study from Bookshark with my 11-year-old. If my younger children want to sit in and be involved here and there, that's fine. And then to culminate this entire study, I plan to have my children watch an episode of Liberty's Kids. They have an episode that is about the Constitution, so I'll include a link to that in the description below. Now, if you would like to show your children where the actual Constitution is kept, I'm going to include a link to the National Archives where you can go through um, and see a picture of the rotunda area, see where the Declaration of Independence is kept, the Constitution, and other famous documents. Do you have friends who would enjoy this video and would like to share some of the information with their own children? Be sure to share it with them and let's teach our children about this history, about teamwork, cooperation, difficult discussions, and of course, revision through the use of amendments. Remember, you can check out the Parent Teacher Bridge on Facebook and Instagram. Don't forget my five quick tips to immediately help your struggling reader. It's in the description below, as well as if you would like to order one of the We the Parents t-shirts, if you're one of those patriotic homeschoolers, be sure to check out the link down below as well. You can find the Parent Teacher Bridge on Facebook and Instagram. Remember, you are your child's most influential teacher.